Hello, Matt here from Airgun Hub, and as you can see in front of us and from the clips before, we're going to be talking about the Beretta 92FS made by Umarex, and this is the competition version. So as you can see as always, the Beretta logo, as with all Umarex pistols that we've seen in previous videos, they do have the logo of the gun that's inside the box. No other paraphernalia apart from the standard Umarex sticker on the side that says it's a Beretta 92FS in 4.5mm, and then a bit of German for you on the side. If we open her up, we find the Beretta 92FS inside. And as always with all the other Umarex pistols, there is a cutout for pellets, CO2 and magazines. I keep all my magazines together in a tin, so there's no need to keep them in a box. Just as I do my pellets and my CO2, I keep them together in a separate bag. Nice little cutout for the, uh, the pistol there. This frame's looking a bit tatty on mine now, but um, as with all Umarex pistols, they do come in a nice frame box that generally does have a cutout for the pistol itself to keep it nice and snug and keep it from moving. So we'll remove the gun. We'll move the box out of the way and we'll have a talk about the gun. So, as always, we'll start with the branding on the side and it says Pietro Beretta Gardone VT. Now, excuse my Italian, I don't know Italian at all, so if I pronounce that any of that wrong, I do apologise. And it's the Mod 92FS, which again is the real steel version it's based on. It's a calibre of 1.77 or 4.5mm. It has got the Pietro Beretta logo on the side there. Moving to the other side, there is a bit of information, it's not as clear on this side, but there is, again, a serial number. There is, I don't know if we can see it, trademark license, uh, Beretta Italy. So it is a fully licensed replica, as with most of these Imerex pistols. Just say that it's made in Germany uh, by Imerex. And again, with all these Imerex pistols, especially the other ones, they're all made in Germany. Again, it does have the German F there and the logo to denote that it's uh, made for the German market as well. And that's it for information on the pistol itself. As you can see, it's in a nickel finish, as with all of my uh, pistols. It's got the Warnock grips, the grips, 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 which I do like. Uh, it sets these nickel pistols off a lot, lot, lot better. It does have an ambidextrous safety, as per the original firearm. And there is a little red mark there to let you know when it's live or ready to fire. The sights are the standard Umarex, non-adjustable, or they're adjustable for windage but not for elevation. They do move side to side. Again, as with all the Umarex sights, there's no white dots on the front sight or the rear sight. Um, for the magazine to slot in, you have what would be the takedown lever of the real pistol that slides the barrel open, as you can see. Uh, the magazine's just dropped out there. These would slot in with the indexing teeth towards the back, like so, and then it just pushes shut. Uh, I believe that would be what would be the slide release. It is a moulded affair, it doesn't move on this, it is a fixed one. Again, with most of these Imrex pistols, they can be used in single action or double action. Uh, it's on safe so it's not using double, there you go, or double action. It has got what would be the mag release, if you push this button and flick it over, it releases the side grip, which releases and it shows your CO2 cavity. Again with all Umarex pistols, there's a lever that drops down, your CO2 drops in the top, and you wind your, um, your screw there, push it back up. Oops, the grip then, if I put it the right way, just back and clips in place like so. Now this has got the competition barrel on it, it is just for aesthetics, it doesn't have a longer interior barrel like the CP88 and the C225 does, it's fixed by a little screw that if you drop an allen key through there you can undo it and it basically slots off. Um, not sure why they didn't do a longer internal barrel on this one, um, none of them seem to come with the longest 6 inch internal barrel, they've all got the 4 inch standard barrel. And as I said, this is just a, a mock exterior. As for shooting, as you can see, it's shot really, really well. The groupings aren't bad. There was one last little flyer at the end there on my grouping. Um, the pistol itself is very, very, very weighty. It's probably one of the more heavier Umarex pistols. Um, and it is a very, very chunky gun. Um, for my little hands, it, 
it only just fits and I can only just reach the trigger but I have got very small hands uh, I have heard that these Imra, uh, these walnut grips do make just the width of the pistol that a little bit wider compared to the plastic ones but yeah as you can see nice nickel finish on it very very nicely finished but especially with the walnut grips again I've added some uh, stainless steel screws to mine just to set them off nicely not really much a dislike about this gun uh, it is very very quiet to shoot as you probably heard especially compared to the CP88 which is a very very loud pistol that does go with a good crack this one is a very very quiet pistol I have actually noticed although obviously it's not a working end it does seem quieter with this barrel extension on I have tried this with it removed and it is notably louder than with it on not sure why I don't know if it's there's no baffles in this I don't know if it's to do with the extra length on it I don't know but there we have it the sight the front sight isn't affixed on the front blade like it is on some of the barrel extensions um, I'd like it to be up there it just gives you that little bit of longer distance between the rear sight and the front side which gives you a bit better pointability but looks a bit odd there but it's all right but yeah there you go the Breton 92 FS I hope you like this video if we can get this one to 20 likes if you can give it a like subscribe share that'd be absolutely fantastic and we will see you next time